as a general rule, creatures with stingers tend to have bad attitudes. So we avoid them by running away or flapping our arms, or by doing the complete opposite. We turn into an instant statue, hoping the threat will get bored and go away. Stingrays, however, are in a class of their own. Their long stingers don't inspire people to flee in terror, because stingrays are usually very docile. In fact, the only time they use their venomous barbed tails is when they feel threatened. Stingrays move through the water very gracefully and effortlessly, making them look like they are almost flying. Most of them do this by rippling their bodies, creating a kind of wave motion, while others gently flap their wings. They swim in shallow waters near the shore and will cover themselves in a sand blanket when they want to sleep or just take a break. The fact that their mouths are on the bottom of their bodies makes it super convenient for them to gobble up crustaceans like shrimp and clams and worms as they glide across the ocean floor. Their eyes, however, are on the top of their heads, which makes it impossible for them to see catchable prey. Imagine putting on a blindfold and then trying to locate your dinner plate while it's moving around the house. Impossible, right? Well, God gave Stingray something even better. A high-tech sensory system used to detect electrical signals that are emitted by their prey. After capture, the stingray uses its strong jaws to crush the crustacean's tough shell. Stingray babies, called pups, hatch from eggs inside their mother. A litter can have up to 10 stingray pups. They are born fully developed, most need no parental care, and humorously look a lot like ravioli. Just another one of God's amazing animals!